Hello everyone, Johnny Hurricane here from GamersHeroes.com and why don't you sit back, relax, and let me tell you about Ender Lilies. Before we go any further, a early access code was provided by the publisher. That is weird to say. I, this is a preview, not a review. There will be no score. Ender Lilies is a dark metroidvania where you play as a young woman named Lily. Lily is known as a white priestess, an individual who can purify spirits and use them as her allies. When you wake up, you have no memory of where you are or who you are, but you quickly find your purpose. Something known as the Blight has infected nearly everyone in this kingdom into monstrosities consumed by rage. As the last white priestess, or at least I think the last white priestess, it is your job to purify them and free them from their never-ending torture. Overall, you're looking at about five to eight hours of content in the game's early access version, with more areas promised later. Combat revolves around these spirits that you cleanse. After you purify them, they will join up with you and you can then equip them to fight for you. Now this isn't like Pokemon, you don't summon them and they attack, you summon them and they are your attacks. After they attack, they go away. And most of them have a limited amount of uses before you have to go to a rest spot and restore them. But I never really ran out of them and your knight is unlimited. You can keep spamming his sword attack forever. Uh, there's another one down the line you get as well. So there are a few that you can keep using over and over, but most of them have a limited amount of uses. You can see that that one says 11. That means I can use it 11 times before I can't use it anymore. And while you only start off with the knight, by the end of the early access version, I had more spirits than I could actually equip. You have two basically trees. You can have three on each of them, three spirits. Uh, normally you'll have your knight on each one, but you don't have to. So basically you're rocking four additional spirits plus your knight or four additional spirits and your knight and the big hammer guy if you have him. And each of them does something a little different. One of them shoots a poison cloud and if the enemy is stationary, it just dies in the poison. The raven, you can see that, it just automatically attacks. Uh, it misses quite a bit, but it also, you can just set it and forget it. You don't have to worry about it. There's also this flame tornado, you can see that down below. There's a couple of basic ones that just throw spells or a little slug jumps out and crashes into enemies. As far as I could tell, I think I got all of them, I don't know. It's hard to tell in early access because I got to a point where it just said, hey, this is the end of the early access, but I could still explore areas. But as far as I could tell, there's a good amount of spirits to pick up. I think I had 10 so far and I might have missed one or two. You always get a spirit from a main boss, but the bigger reward comes from exploration and finding the mini boss spirits. These are not marked on the map. The map will basically say, hey, you haven't completed this area, but it doesn't tell you what you haven't found. So you have to find it on your own. And of course, in any good Metroidvania, exploration is rewarded. And in this game, it certainly is. You get a double jump very early. There's also a triple jump, which I didn't have. I don't think that's in early access. And then there are a couple other obvious exploration tools. There's the ground pound, you break the floor and you can go down. Swimming underwater, you have to beat a certain boss, you can start swimming underwater. There's this like weird chain spot that I'm pretty sure isn't in the game yet, but it looked super obvious that you would connect a chain to the other hook point. So I think there's a hook shot as well, I just couldn't get it. While you're exploring, you will pick up these resources. Stagnant Blight is used to upgrade your spirits to make them do more damage. You can also find what are known as relics. These are basically items that you can equip. And then there is lore scattered throughout the land. There's just pieces of paper you look at and they kind of, <laughs> there's a mystery still, but they do put the story together for the most part. Uh, but obviously it's not anywhere near finished. So there's still a lot of blanks that need to be filled in. As I said, it's not a very long game at the moment, but what I got out of it so far, especially from the exploration and combat, I have enjoyed. But there's one other thing that I want to hit on, and that is the visual storytelling. The way that the background art, which by the way, this game is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if it's hand drawn or not, but kudos to the team, the art team over there and the music team. It all fits together very well to paint a picture of this once beautiful kingdom that has succumbed to this corruption and is falling apart all around you. And another thing, it is very obvious that they took inspirations from Bloodstained, Hollow Knight, Ori, heck there's even some uh, Bloodborne in here and I'm not saying that's a bad thing. They took it and ran with it to make their own thing and it works great. My only gripe with the game so far is that I hit that wall and it said come back later, but that's something you're always going to run into with early access. 
Uh, as it stands right now, if you are a Metroidvania fan, while you'll probably feel like me at the end of it, wanting more and eagerly awaiting the next update, I, there is no reason you shouldn't pick this game up. It runs flawlessly. I had no crashes. I had no bugs. Uh, I, the challenge is right, and finding the spirits and everything was great. Exploration was great, as I said. I'm not going to give it a score, but it's going to get a highly recommended for me if you are a Metroidvania fan. Obviously, if you're not, then this isn't for you. But if you're looking for something to fill that gap until Hollow Knight 2, you know, this might be worth checking out. Anyways, that is going to do it for me. Ender Lilies gets a thumbs up, and I will probably review it when the full game comes out. But for now, just know that you're getting a very limited chunk. And if you need to get your fix, it will give you the fix. It's going to leave you wanting more. That's the only problem. But anyways, if you liked what you saw and got what you needed, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Later, Gators.